What's going on guys? So we're in a quick video um, on the uh, Model 3 uh, struts uh, for the front trunk area here. Um, so these are not powerful enough to lift the frunk up itself as in um, when you gotta open the frunk what you'll notice is is this is the stock um, model 3 strut here um, and you'll notice I'm gonna put the camera down here for a moment that when you open that frunk up it um, it doesn't open all the way uh, automatically and this is kind of something that annoys a lot of people with Tesla's is it'll do this right you'll be here you'll close your trunk it'll be closed and then you're gonna open it. Right, you open the front frunk and it does this, right? It's not open all the way. So you have to manually go up to it and then push it up like this. And then the struts will take over and open it the rest of the way. Right, that's normally what you would have to do with this. So what I did is I bought these aftermarket struts, which hopefully they work. If they don't work, this video is probably not getting posted. Um, but so they're here and they have these little caution labels on them and you can see the actual piston on it is slightly more beefy than the stock one that's on there now. So you can see that's the stock one. You put this aftermarket next to it, it's like really beefy um, and high pressure. So what should happen is after I install these, the frunk should open all the way up automatically um, without the need to manually go up to it and pull it. And that would be good for like opening the frunk through the app when you're carrying groceries or carrying something to put in the frunk rather than having to put what you're holding down, open the frunk and then pick it back up and put it in. It just makes life simpler. So I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse through installing these and I'll show you guys the finished product with these upgraded um, aftermarket uh, front frunk uh, struts. So we'll do that right quick. All right guys, so I'm back. The struts are installed. Um, as you can see, I was uh, kind of playing around with it going up and down a few times. I'm just trying to loosen the struts up with them being new. Um, they're very, uh, very strong, if you know what I mean, because the struts are brand new. Um, but I will link everything in the description below on where you guys can get this. And I will say um, they're so strong, in fact, versus these uh, factory struts that it really slings the um, the frunk all the way up and it's kind of scary how fast it comes but I don't see any real danger with it I mean it's hinged on here and here on both sides I don't see how that would interfere with anything with the windshield or anything like that and there is a little bit of wobble but it's actually only where the strut connects to the um, hood or the frunk it's um it's not where it could uh, really damage anything so now you'll see when I open it open frunk flies all the way up and it does like I said shake the car just a little bit but you can see with that if you look here the vibration that you're getting is coming from where the actual strut is connected but that's locked on there like if you pull on that like I'm tugging on it that's not coming off this clip is holding that end and there's another clip holding this bottom end so they're attached it's just that bit of wobble you hear is this when it's hinging like that when it when it first opens so I don't see that hurting anything it is aluminum but it's structured aluminum and there's really no weight on this front of the uh, front here so I don't see that bending anything either um, so I think with time as the struts break in and they get um, you know worn in a little bit there's gonna be like a break-in period where um, they'll kind of normalize and won't be as strong but as of now um, 
the other thing with it is like you'll notice when you go to close it you have to really put a good bit of force to get the front to close so I would recommend using two hands closing it because you could see this force here on my hand like if I'm here like say it flies up now um, that's kind of what you want I mean you would think Tesla would have designed it like this in the first place instead of having it not open but it really flies open now but latched wise I mean it's hooked like that's not that's not coming undone so um, it's just kind of crazy because now if you're you have your Tesla app and you're going up to your car and you're kind of like you know um, I want to open the Tesla app and then I go to uh, controls and I want to open front if I was say with something and I was walking up to the car there it is and it flies open so you hear how there's like a little bit of wobble there um, again I think that's from the the actual um, strut ends themselves because you can hear that's the noise you're hearing is this it's not anything structurally with the frunk and again there's no moving parts here in the frunk where that wobble would hurt anything um, really and it, it's hinged here and there so I don't see a big deal again I think there's there just needs to be a break-in period with it where it's gonna have to um, break in slowly but surely as the struts just kind of get worn in with use so I don't know tell me what you guys think in the comments but I personally I like it I think that's much much easier to use than the factory frunk I don't know why they don't have it powered like the rear they do sell a powered kit from Hanshao I believe the brand is the Chinese brand uh, to make the frunk operate like the, the, the trunk um, but that's really not needed I don't think for the front for me I just wanted it to open so when I'm walking up to it I don't have to manually open the front I just wanted it to open by itself and that's exactly what this kit does this kit costs 16 bucks on Amazon to try um, the one from Hanshaw is 400 bucks so it's like do I really need it to be powered closed no probably not long as it opens and additionally with the Hanshaw kit you have to wire stuff to the battery and add uh, change this out here so that way it has a suction thing to pull it back down it's a whole bunch more stuff going on moving parts stuff to break my opinion with it opening all the way fully like i think it should should have done from the factory that's good enough for me so anyway tell me what you guys think in the comments